five seconds. Sir, I will be failing in my duty if I do not congratulate our Honorable Prime Minister for the concessions that he has given in the medical and pharmaceutical field, namely full customs duty exemption for import of life-saving equipment and also its spares. It is really logical, practical and sensible for which our Honorable Prime Minister deserves all the appreciation and praise. Here, I would like to mention that instruments used for ophthalmic surgery, heart surgery and neurosurgery should also get the same exemption as life-saving instruments get. Exemption of additional customs duty for 35 more drug intermediates is a laudable one. I request the Honorable Prime Minister to remove the customs duty in also these for drug intermediates required for manufacturing them. Items like notebooks, letter pads, bloating papers, accounts books, registration papers, file covers, etc. are exempted from the excise duty altogether. This will help the parliamentarians to use more pads, write more letters to the non-listening bureaucrats and to some of the adamant ministers who never reply at all. This will also help to increase the literacy rate by encouraging people to develop the habit of writing more and learning more. Then, increase of excise duty on viscous staple fibers from rupees 5 per kg to rupees 7 per kg and increase in viscous filament yarn by 12% of the existing rate is going to crush the entire industry. In Tamil Nadu, rarely we have any big industry. We have Southern Viscos Limited in Coimbatore district as such which produces viscous products. So this is going to hit the industry very badly and would result in hardship to 3000 employees working in that industry. In view of the real backwardness in the industrial sector in Tamil Nadu, I request the Honourable Minister to restore the tax pattern existing on viscose staple fibre and other units. The status quo may be maintained. The excise duty on cigarettes is based on the length of the cigarette and our Prime Minister hails that it is his innovation. Filtered cigarettes are less harmful than the normal smaller cigarettes. Unfortunately, the lengthier cigarettes which are less harmful are made more costly now. So people go for smaller cigarettes which are more harmful to them and invite more troubles. Hence, the logic and innovation of increasing the excise duty of the cigarette cannot be acceptable. Even though this method is followed in other countries, they always stick on to their limits either in drinking or smoking habits. But in our country, people always exceed the limits and finally they spoil their health. Hence, I request the Prime Minister not to compare our people with the people of other countries and I request 
him to reduce the tax on the filtered cigarettes which are a better devil than the small cigarette which are a greater devil i would suggest to mop up the loss incurred in this process by increasing the excise duty on indian made foreign liquors like whiskey brandy and rum so that we can get more revenue for the government and also make the people not to drink more which will bring partial prohibition it is more worthwhile for my state namely tamil nadu because the general arak shops are recently converted into whiskey and wine shops increase in excise duty on fuel efficient motor vehicles with engine capacity not exceeding 1000 cc is to be increased from 20% to 25% and on spare parts from 50% to 75% this has resulted in an increase of rupees 5000 on maruti cars and rupees 6000 on maruti vans these small cars are the pet children of late sanjay gandhi the basic idea was smaller the car more fuel efficient the car would be and middle class people and office goers can afford to go by four wheelers now after the present increase the maruti cars price is rupees 1.70 lakh the car cannot withstand even a blow which results in dents and as a result of tickering and painting costs about rupees 5000 the shock absorbers of maruti car cost rupees 500 per pair compared to rupees 200 per pair for ambassador cars so maintenance of these maruti cars is already costly if the price is increased due to the excise duty it is not going to benefit smaller and fuel efficient cars and the basic idea of late sanjay gandhi gets defeated so at least for his memory namely for his brother's memory i request the honorable prime minister not to increase the excise duty on fuel efficient cars with an engine capacity of less than 1000 cc kindly withdraw the present hike and allow the status quo to continue you have allotted more funds for rural development though it is a welcoming measure it should be monitored well otherwise the beneficiaries will not be the deserving poor people but the influential political rural people only stop